you know, with uh, everything happening in the land of Tarkov today, I kind of want to throw my input out there into the ether, even though most likely it will just go unheard. I used to be an avid player a few years back, and uh, nowadays I play like when the game wipes. I play it for like maybe a couple months after. And I don't know, it depends. I like the game, and that's probably not going to change. But uh, BSB, BSG, big dumb for dropping the hottest dog crap I think ever hit the gamer market within like my recent memory. But you know, I don't like criticizing without coming up with some sort of solution, because then I'm just complaining. So BSG, here's some ways to fix your, uh, you know, best PR stunt in history. You should just totally remove the Hun Herd, or the Amber Herd edition. Um, just get rid of it, you know, and apologize, right? That's not, that's not nothing new. That's, that's opinion with everybody. Uh, but I know you got to make that money. You got to keep that back. So you got to recoup all of that loss from arena. So I've, I've got the perfect way for you to do it. Um, it's called the true believers of the game edition. Um, this version is for those true believers that have been funding your game for the last few years. The people that keep buying the accounts for some reason. I don't know what happens to their previous accounts. They're just like kicked away for whatever reason. Um, but this version allows them to just download all the skill they need without any penalties to them whatsoever. Um, all the skills that could make you survive and live in Tarkov. But I know since accounts with this version cannot be you know, banned for downloading skill, I do see the issue with it you know, not being a constant stream of income like it typically is. So this is how I fix it. You make it subscription based. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cost 71.5 per month to use this edition or $715 a year. Um, you know, a little bit of a deal, you know. You see the math, I, I thought of it. It's good math. Twitch, I'm not doing anything illegal. Just, uh, it's not at all. Fully legal stuff. It's okay! But a serious idea, um, that PvE mode you just released behind that $250 pay, $50 paywall, um, you should just put that, like, as separate downloadable content because it is DLC. Because I would have bought that. I'm a standard user, standard owner, account owner. So, like, if you would have put that out for, like, 15, 20 bucks, I would have bought two copies, me for and my buddy Josh. Because Josh sucks at the game. He refuses to play it because he can't, you know, point and click well enough. So he has to do it against the AI. And even them, they still murder him. It's pretty funny. But, you know, I would have bought that. And that's what, like, every other company has done. My buddy made a great point. Logan, he made a great point. Every other company, they make a game, and they have plans for DLC or cosmetics in the future. Why didn't BSU just follow the tried-and-true method of making constant money after the game's been released? Uh -huh. And, like, I, I would never buy cosmetics. That's for uh, plebeians. Um, but... You know, one skin idea I had that I haven't seen yet might have been said. Stuff for your hideout. Like a skin for your hideout. For however many whatever they put in the game, you can decorate your hideout. Now see, like, I was thinking um, like that 70s show um, type of basement. You know, something like this, uh, this wood paneling from the 70s. You know, it looked like my dad's basement when I lived there. See, that'd be a cool skin, and a bunch of people would buy it. But, you know, we're here. There's nothing I can do. Like I said, this is going into the ether. I'm still going to play the game, because I bought it. But, um, after all this, I've got more fuel. Fuel to fan the flames. The anger I need. Because, Nikita, I'll be thinking about you and BSG as I go through these next few raids. I'm 
I'm gonna get that bag myself. Yeah, man. 